What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to attract women. In my last video, I talked about six steps, six self-improvement steps you must follow. It's going to be on either side. So first things first, you have to think about and ask the question, what do women find attractive? When I hear that question, I feel as though women find masculinity, strong, ambition, all these things are attractive to women. What we're focusing on right now is the physical aspects. You can't be 300 plus pounds and expect to have a supermodel. Money alone won't do it. It's all about raising your sexual market value. Yep, SMV. I know you've heard it before from the red pill, red pill theories and all that, strategies, shout out AMS, all, all those people in that sphere. No, you've heard it. Raising your sexual market value. It starts with you. You have to keep yourself clean. I'm talking about haircut. I'm talking about under your nails. Girls care about that. If you didn't know, now you know. You have to smell good. All that ties into things that you can do, like physically with your own body. Like things that are changeable. If you're not, if you don't brush your teeth and you, you think somebody want to smell your stinking breath. Your hot breath, you in their face. Would you want? Would you want you to talk to you with the breath? Like, like if you can, and it smell a little funny. If you can, and it tastes a little funny, you know your breath stink. Like, oh my god, I cannot stress this enough. Hygiene is everything when it comes to women. Step two, stop being so regularly available. Stop being so regularly available. That is simple as that. Readily available, like you're always on call. She takes back, you're texting back 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later. Stop being so readily available, and I will tell you how to do that. Like, I will make, seriously, make another video, a full video on having an abundance mindset versus a scarcity mindset and how to obtain an abundance mindset start to finish. If I have to do that, because I know somebody that's going to be watching, like, what's this? Let me know in the comments, and I will have that video out for you. I'm here to help you. Stop being so readily available. You come off thirsty, like you're not getting none, and that's inherently unattractive. Like that that's going for the opposite thing we shooting for right now. Stop being so readily available for these hoes. Back to raising your sexual market value. Thing you can do is go to the gym. Said this in that last video, but it's very important. That's why I'm reiterating. Get your ass up. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Like, you don't want, you don't want that. Like, like where it's just like cut, and and it's like, you you limit your chances. Like you you raising your your percentage rate. You start here like 50, no 50, 50 for most dudes. Some dudes started like 10. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like you as you go along in life, you raise your percentage, your your rate of success with women. Like. You have to assess where you're at and see where you're going. So you have to, you have to, have to assess it. But back to it, you have to get in the gym. You you have to you have to want it because going to the gym is it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to be disciplined and go to the gym every week. I, I promise it is. But after you do it for a little while, after you do it for like three months or so, like a month or so, and you consistently doing it, you gonna get you gonna be in love with it because you are gonna know why you're doing it. You gonna know why you want to be in here. Like, and that's going to be your watch. So get get in the gym. Get in shape. Don't no woman want 300 pounds. You are what you attract. You are what you attract. You seeing all these dudes with all these supermodels and all this and all that. They are in shape. They have their money on point. And they have status. The, the only three things, for real, that really it takes to get to raise your sexual market value. Get in shape. That's That's the most tangible thing you can do right now. Right now, you can do that. You you can do that. Week after week, get in shape. Get in a gym. Get in a gym. Consistently. Keyword, consistently. Be playful. So if you're a guy that actually has a few girls that like you or, or she gives you like little signals and signs, you constantly getting signs in public, be a flirt. Never never fully commit. Be a flirt, but never fully commit. So it's it's... It's it's, it's, it's it's all it is innately is just seeing a girl that likes you, you know, being a flirt. That's what they do to you. 
to get you, so they keep you here because women want want a man that other women want. That's the secret. <sighs> women want men that other women want. That's all it is. So you sit and you look like, dang, don't nobody want me. Do these things in this video, and I'm sure somebody gonna want you. Somebody gonna want and, and never fully give in. Don't take what you can get. That's a loser mentality. I'm gonna just take what I can get. Sleeping with a foe. Yep, this gonna be my life. No! Don't settle for that. No! 18, 21, 18 or 25. As a man, you should be single. You should be, especially you in college. Man, I'm a date. Dating is done. Dating is done. It's over. Like, 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 I don't, I don't see myself going and, you know, doing that. I can't do it. I can't. It's just the player in me. I can't do it. I get bored. I, I'm sorry. I do. I get, I get bored with one girl. I do. And she'll be great for me. And I understand there's some purple pill dudes out here that just need that one. That one. Hey, I ain't no one. You got a scarcity mindset. You said on this one girl going to save my life. It's called one itis. Fresh and fit, all of that. That's the terminology they use for that word. One itis. Having one bitch. Had you in scarcity. Always blowing her up. And then next thing you know, she's fucking gone. She's gone in the wind. To the motherfucker with the nice hair, the nice car, well kept. And, and, and know how to talk to him. Charisma is something you're born with. So if you're not, you don't have that natural charisma like most people, and you can't just woo women, it's okay. You have other factors that you can improve in your life to have you to get these bitches. I'm trying to tell you, level up your finances. Level them up. Level them up. It's the reason why women go to like the not, the twenty year old women go for the thirty five dude because they're established. They have money. Some of them have looks status that's all they have like it's the reason they shoot for those guys because they're we're the, I'm, I'm in the group that's trying to get up 19 18 19 20 21 i'm in the group that's trying to get up Stabs myself as a man because your brain doesn't fully develop as a man until you're until age 25 i'm trying to get up i'm trying to get my, my my financial freedom now you know what i'm saying that's what women want they they, they want to they want I hate to say it, but they don't want a trick. A trick like that's a beta. That's beta. Like you get your money up and you show them like you give experiences because all girls just want to have fun. You give them experience like going bold or something. It's just nothing too crazy either. You know what I'm saying? Only have to be too crazy. Just level up your finances. And I know you're young, but that's not an excuse. And actually, and actually a boost. It's like you're young. You have so much energy compared to these people. There should not be a reason you aren't where you want to be. Level up your finances. Get more than one job while you can and able to work. Stop being lazy. Level up your finances. You getting twenty k from this job and twenty k from that's forty k that you making at nineteen years old. It's simple. It's simple, but it's effective. All right, and the last thing you can do to be more attractive to women. It's inherent. Just have, have stuff to do. Have stuff to do because once you have stuff to do in your life, and I don't mean like playing video games with the guys and uh, get outside. Have stuff to do. Go to an art museum. Try something new. Have something that you can you can take her to. Cause like, Instagram is the best dating app there is. It's better than Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, all that bullshit. It's better than it. So you doing stuff outside and you actually have things that you can talk about which improves your social skills because you can talk about things you've done and you can incorporate like hey i've done this before would you want to be interested in doing it like i thought it was cool. like go outside do something go to the club whatever if you're chasing losing go to the club i guess go to the club try to have a good time i really don't like the club it's not really the place for me i don't like it that much i be i go for my friend and my friends and stuff like that to see them and probably pull the girl here and there but other than that i just go to you know, get my face out there, my face card, and have people, like, familiar with seeing me as an individual, like, that's in where I'm at, Birmingham, Alabama, but, um,
Yeah. Like, get outside. Go do something. Whatever it may be. Activities. And, and once you're doing, you have talking points. You can even use those activities on your Instagram. Leverage your Instagram. Grow, get women from out of states. They see what you're doing. You can have nice pictures set up. Have a nice profile. You can, and you can use Instagram for dating. If you didn't know, it's the best dating app there is. A lot of people don't know that. That's the last thing I can tell you though. Just get outside. Do something. Have go through go through your week. Go through your week. See what days you have off and what you can do on those days. Like this day right here, I can go, okay, let me see. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this on this day. You plan out the week ahead and then you want to bring them along. And you you want to be on the bring along type of thing. Once you get in that, you can just bring them on. Because you're going to do this regardless of where she comes or not. Do it because you want to. Not to get her attention. But yeah, man. It's been Tay. And this right here has been how to become more attractive with women. How to attract more women in your life. Hope this video was informational for you. If it was, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Saying how... How I did, and uh, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're always up to date when I post. It's been Tate, man, and I'm out of here.